Hi, welcome to Johnny Works. Today we are in tool school. Today's tool school subject, rotary hammer, okay? My rotary hammer happens to be a Bosch Bulldog Extreme, okay? About 200 bucks at Home Depot. One thing that the Bulldog has is this little handle right here, okay? This little handle opens up and I can hang this thing, okay? I can hang this in my shop. It has a handle, you spin this handle, and you can move it around and you can set it different ways that you want to hold it. Okay. It also has a depth setter. Okay. Push this little red button in. You take this little stick and you can pull this thing in and out. Okay. That's going to judge how deep you go when you're drilling your uh, hole. Okay. One major thing that you would do with a tool like this is put a bit in it like this SDS bit, okay? This is called an SDS. That's what this little uh, bit right there looks like on the end, okay? It's made to go into this Bosch hammer drill. There's different kind of brands. This just happens to be the one that I have and the one that I like, okay? So you pull down on this collar, you hold it, put your drill bit in. Sometimes you gotta spin it a little bit, let go and it locks in, you hear that click? Make sure you always hear the click and then pull on that bit. To make sure it's in, okay? Before you do all that crap, make sure it's not plugged in, okay? Last thing you want to do is drill your hands, okay? Always unplug your uh, tools when you're working on them. Whether you're fixing them, changing the blade, adjusting the table uh, on the saw, always unplug your, your tool, all right? The other thing, always wear safety glasses when you are using a tool. All right, and always make sure that this stuff is not left plugged in if you have small kids. Go crazy wife or somebody that's gonna grab your tool and uh, start whacking stuff like your car or I don't know. Especially if you have boys. I have girls, I'm lucky. I'm a boy, so I know boys are crazy. They would hammer drill your car into pieces. I would. You're in your basement of your house, your foundation. Your foundation walls are thick, but your basement floor, usually, most areas, four, maybe six inches thick. In certain areas, it could be thicker, all right? But for the most part, most of it's gonna be four to six inches thick, and that's why you wanted to use something like this. If you drill all the way through and you hit dirt, you could drill down with your anchor and put your anchor in, and it might not hold, because you're in the dirt, all right? So that's what this thing's for. Or if you have any kind of electrical or anything in a wall, you wanna make sure that you don't, uh, drill into it. That's what that depth set is for, for the size of your anchor. Okay, so push the trigger, pull this thing back, pull the collar down, pull out the bit. Okay, they also make chisel bits. Okay, these would be for concrete. So you're doing a little demo in your basement for your bathroom, like I just said. You put this kind of a bit in. Okay, you're gonna drill a hole for some plumbing. You put this bit in, you drill a few holes, Okay, take it out, put one of these bits in. This is the chisel bit. Put one of these bad boys in there. And now you can chip concrete, okay? Drilling the hole ahead of time makes it a little weaker. One very important thing, before you put your bits in this thing, it's recommended in the rules, the unwritten rules of, uh, actually they're not unwritten, they're actually written. Grease, okay? Find out what kind of grease. I think it might come with some, I've had it for like two years, so I'm not sure if it did, I forget. But if not, find out what kind of grease they recommend and get some. Because every time you put this in, you put a little grease on the end of this, not a ton, but a little bit, and then you put your bit in. So every time you put a bit in, you should grease it. This thing can get really dry from concrete dust or sawdust or whatever and it's not good for the tool, okay? So you always wanna grease this up just like you grease the fittings in your car, all right? This dial right here 
has a couple different settings, okay? First one's a drill, okay? This one would be for drilling maybe metal, sometimes wood. I would push this little lever down and then turn it, okay? If I wanna to go to the hammer drill, that's the one in the middle, I push it down, I go up where it shows a picture of a drill and a little hammer, okay? That would be for concrete, all right? If I'm drilling a hole to put some anchors in the ground, or in my floor, I should say, or in my concrete foundation wall. Okay, I put it on hammer drill. I use a bit like this, where this thing is drilling in, but it's also hammering, so it's concussed. It's going boom, 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 at the same time it's drilling, okay? It makes it faster. Then I can put my bit in there, and I can attach it to whatever my anchor is, or whatever my threaded rod, or something like that. That's what that hammer drill's for, okay? The last setting right here is the hammer. Boom. Okay, the big hammer. What that would be for is just chipping, okay? Chipping or chiseling, something like that. Or if you got some old masonry, you got an old outside, uh, you know, like one of those outside fireplaces or something, you got some old brick on there and that thing looks terrible because it's falling apart because the, you know, the, the pilgrims or something made that thing and you want to uh, knock it down, you want to you wanna build a new one because you've been watching uh, YouTube and stuff like me. Right there, brother. You hit right into that mortar and you just knock those bricks right off, okay? That's what this thing's good for, all right? The Bosch Bulldog.